Okay, so this is our little tube nose bat. I'm here eating some lovely custard apple with the skin on, which I've been instructed to, to, do, to do it that way. And she'll make a spat out of the, the bits and pieces of the custard apple and the skin, and then she'll spit that out. Well, she's enjoying that, Beck. Yeah, you can just see bits of juice dribble out every now and then. <laughs> you can see a little tube nose. She's still, she was only rescued yesterday. Thanks. Um, so she's not 100%. Obviously, she's been through an, an ordeal. But isn't it wonderful to know that they're out there flying around in certain parts of our city? Not many because they're predominantly a rainforest creature and we're knocking down forests and rainforests at such an alarming rate that they probably won't be here for much longer. Housing, housing, and more housing in progress. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> And you can see her in Beck's hands. She's tiny. Oop. There's Beck's hand, yeah. Here we go. She's tiny. <laughs> so we're all we're all madly in love, aren't we? Really? Yeah, she's just gorgeous. She's just incredible. And she's loving the custard apple. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Glad got your custard apple. Very happy about that. Don't know how long she'll be in care. Things can still go wrong, um, which I'm trying not to think about at this point, but um, if she is pregnant, then she's so far maintaining that pregnancy, which is great. And if we can get the food worked out, they're a solitary species, so having her by herself is not an issue like other flying foxes. Have a little clean up. Got a sore wing there, haven't you? That naughty barbed wire. No. Aww. Yeah, that's what she's been getting at. But she's cleaned it up nicely and it's drying out, so. Oh, look. That little tongue. Isn't it gorgeous? And the little teeth. And the beautiful. Anyway, we'll get her some more custard apple because boy, oh boy, does she like that. <laughs>